Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Jess. Thank you so much for tuning in. So today I have a hair tutorial for you guys. It's my first time trying finger coils and God help me. This hairstyle, it required a lot of arm strength. Um, it did take me two and a half hours and this is what it's looking like. It's very, very, very defined, as you can see. I mean, if you've seen my previous videos, you know I kind of have problems with the top of my hair um, curling. So that this patch here is kind of frizzy, um, but you'll see later in the video what my curls was looking like when I was finger coiling them. Um, but it was a very, 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 it was an easy process, but it was a long one, and it took a lot of arm strength. For some reason, the front only took me 30, 40 minutes, but the back took me like two hours, like an hour each side. I don't know, I don't know what was going on, but it was a lot. So um, if you're gonna ask me what my hair type is, because I'm getting that question a lot, make sure you check out my previous video. I did, did just do a video on the different types of curl patterns that I have in my hair. So make sure you check out that video. I will link it up here and down below in the description box. And, I think that's it. So let's just get on into this tutorial and I'll talk to you guys later. Alright y'all, so this is what it's looking like so far. My curls are hella defined right now. Like, do y'all see? Absolutely no frizz. Um, I just did this side. I started this side a little while ago. So it's a little more shrunk, but my curls, bleachy. Oh, this hairstyle is taking me a long time. I did not think it was gonna take this long, but all right, let's just, let's get into it. I'm gonna take this section. I had split my hair into four sections earlier, but then within those four sections, I'm splitting them into like subsections. And my hair is extremely dry now, so I'm gonna just dampen it with some water. Curl enhancing smoothie. I'm just gonna take a little bit just to kind of get my curls activated. Just a little bit. And I'm just gonna take like a dab of gel and kind of just put it over the section just to, you know, prepare my hair for what's about to go down. Cause it's about to go down. Last step, I'm gonna take my shower comb that I got from Walmart and I'm gonna detangle. So I'm gonna grab up all of my hair. I'm gonna put just a little bit of gel on my fingers. Or on my finger. I guess on all my fingers. Pull a piece and just coil it. And this is a bad example because my hair takes kind of longer to coil up in the front. But this is what we got going on here. In the back I did bigger pieces. But the smaller the better. That's it y'all. It's such an easy process, but it's a long one. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you guys that this is a quick and easy hairstyle, but it's not. But, um, one thing I do want to say is that when I take a piece, I want to make sure I kind of put gel on the ends first, just to make sure that I eliminate frizz immediately. Those ends need to be defined, and then you'll be good to go. Confused now, wish you why not she 
Oh my gosh. I don't wanna do this no more. Okay, so this is what it's looking like. Curls are popping. I don't want to touch the front too much because it's still kind of wet and I don't want to cause um, any frizziness. But all I'm going to do now is just kind of find a part and put two hairpins there. And I'm going to get ready for school and let the front dry up a little bit more and then I will be right back. Alright guys, so I'm back and all I really did was just put a hairpin here and a hairpin here just to separate, um, just to like make a part. It's still a little, there's a little bit of product in it but I gotta go to school so I don't have time to be waiting for it to dry. But um, yeah, this is what it came out like and I really, really, really like it a lot. Can you show you guys the look? So I hope you guys I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my further videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.